in four distinct American cities. The public hears a clear message. As violent crime increases, the city of Denver is scrambling to hire more police officers. He is adding hundreds of cops. Will it be enough? One million dollars to recruit more officers. We don't have enough officers as it is. So our class tasks students with a simple question. Is what we're being told is happening actually happening? We analyzed reams of municipal data, talked to law enforcement, journalists and residents, and fact-checked press reports. And what we found was, well, it's not that simple. In all four jurisdictions, criminal legal system agencies clearly define their goals. In other words, they tell us what success looks like to them. Each agency we study defined this success as the completion of a series of steps. Where a call to the police becomes a prosecution, becomes incarceration, becomes reintegration into society. And all of that, by their definition, means a safer public than before. But when we looked at data from our test cities, we found agencies were mostly missing their own public safety benchmarks. First, we discovered that public safety spending in these jurisdictions is a significant, often growing portion of city budgets. Each instance someone is arrested, incarcerated, and then doesn't recidivate costs eye-popping amounts, especially when compared to other public services. But while we are often told that this higher spending on the criminal legal system leads to lower crime, the data our teams found show that it's not that simple. The publicly available data suggests that agencies completing their own steps to success is actually rare. In fact, it appears a vast majority of citizen calls to police never lead to action of any kind. It appears that despite billions in funding, the system is not doing what it says it will do an overwhelming majority of the time. Without even accounting for the well-documented harm that the system inflicts on these jurisdictions' most marginalized people and communities, the criminal legal system's high dollar costs and poor performance on its own metrics make it unclear if the current version of the criminal legal system will ever be able to effectively meet its stated goals. Researchers' next tasks should be looking more deeply into solutions that can.